So now on to question B of court versus round 754. The name of the question is reverse sort. So in the question, we are given a binary string and we need to convert this given string into a non-decreasing order. For this, for this, we can select a subsequence of the given string and we can reverse it. So basically in the question, in the solution, we need to print the minimum number of operations and we need to print uh, the selected indices, which we'll reverse. So now I'll try to explain you with an example. So we'll take a string. We'll take a string. Say it will be a sequence of ones and zeros. So number of ones, number of zeros in this is uh, seven. A number of ones is eight. So this string can be written as a basically we'll divide it into two parts. This is a given string. So the sorted string will be something like this. So by observation, we see that uh, the number of ones in this part is equal to the number of zeros in this part. And if we interchange the position of zeros and ones, we'll uh, get the sorted string. So basically we need to find the positions of ones in this and zeros in this, and we need to print it. Also, it is very clear that it does not take more than one step in order to make the string sorted. So the number of moves, number of moves will be one, will be zero. If, if string is already sorted, otherwise Otherwise it will be one. Now we'll find the indices of ones in this and zeros in this, and we'll print the indices. So it'll be number of total number of indices will be six and the required indices will be one, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. So now if we'll interchange these or we'll reverse it, the string will become sorted. So what we can do is we can directly compare the given string with the sorted string and the positions which differ like position one, position five and seven and so on. So I'll show you. So this position, this position, this this one, this and this. So we'll basically select these positions and we'll print it directly. So this will become our answer. Okay. So now I'll code it. So in this question, we are given test cases also. We'll input the size. We'll take the string. Now we'll take a temporary string and we'll sort it. Now we'll compare the two strings. Also, we'll make a vector to store the positions. Now, if S of I is not equal to S1 of I, so we'll push the particular index. Since the, since the answer, the indices are starting from one. So we'll push I plus one. 
now if no indices differ which means that uh, the string is already sorted so we'll print 0 in all the other cases only one step is required so we'll print 1 and then we'll print the size of which size of the vector which is the number of characters or the number of positions now with the help of a for each loop we'll print all the indices so now i'll try to run it on the test cases first one is already sorted so we do not need to do anything on the string okay so it's working fine i'll try to submit the code okay so the code is accepted it's working fine 